position now. He goes to his set. Chittle waits. Here it comes. He struck him out, and Morris has a no-hitter. Lance Parrish goes out and grabs him, and the Tigers get a no-hit performance for the first time since 1958 when Jim Bunning did it. Jack Morris, the no-hit hero, surrounded by his teammates in the ninth inning, Chicago, no runs, no hits, no errors, one man left, and the final score, Detroit 4, Chicago nothing. Two-two the count on him. Here's the set, the pitch. He swings and misses. The Tigers win the Eastern Division. And they go out to congratulate Willie Hernandez. He's being mobbed. And the police now are ringing the field. Some of the fans are on the field. And all the excitement of the season has broken loose here at Tiger Stadium. What a beautiful sight to see. The Tigers are the champions of the East in 1984. And it was significant that Willie Hernandez, the man who has made such a difference, got that final out as he struck out Jim Sundberg to end the ball game and bring the Eastern Division Championship to Detroit. Some of the fans are still on the field. They're being contained by this big corps of city policemen and ushers, and they have the scene pretty well in control. Most of the fans here at Tiger Stadium are just happy enough to stand up and cheer for their Tigers to stop them. First base open. And they will walk Gibson, I believe, with Harris coming up. There's no error, by the way. That is ruled a sacrifice field is choice. But Templeton knows how it's scored in his own scorebook. It figures they'll take the bat right out of Gibson's hand. And now Dick Williams is going to go out there because Kennedy held up four fingers. And then went out to the mound. Well, let's see. Well, you gotta, you gotta believe that he's gonna put him on with four pitches. But if he starts to fool around and throw a couple pitches and get a couple strikes, don't you know that Sparky will be screaming about that Raleigh Fingers Johnny Bench play? That's right. You have to turn the clock back with two strikes on Bench. Dick went out to the mound, talked to Fingers. Tennis held his hand out as if we're gonna put him aboard. Suddenly, Tennis dropped into a crouch. Bingo, strike three. Well, they're making a decision here, and Williams is in charge. You know what's interesting? Kirk Gibson made his major league debut, his very first at bat in the big leagues, against Goose Gossett. That's a great way to break in. And Gossett struck him out on three pitches. Blew him away, Sparky says. And maybe because of that, Gossett is saying, I can get him. Well, we'll see. Ball one. The infield is up. They give Gibson the left field foul line. Brown is in left. And there it goes! preparing for the onslaught took his cap off and put it in his shirt and that's why most of them have their caps off they'll be running out there fans love to get even Krasuski he doesn't like to take his head off he hasn't got that much grass
Forsberg away from the play. Peter Forsberg took a swipe at Igor Larionov. And it is an often that we see Igor Larionov go, but he did. And now Darren McCarty gets his shots in at Claude Lemieux. And look who came all the way out to try to help. Patrick Waugh. Oh, my goodness. You never know when to expect it, Darren McCarty said before. Vernon and Waugh. Mike Vernon with a great left. Tunnels up with the right. How about this? Lemieux was hammered by Darren McCarty, and he is being helped into the locker room. Two of the best of all time. Known for the use of the pillows. Vernon and Waugh square off. They are on their feet here at Joe Louis Arena. 301 days since the hit on Chris Draper. And look at Darren McCarty. Patrick Waugh bloodied up. Peter Forsberg bloodied up. And Lemieux in the locker room. Darren McCarty said hockey players have Outside. long memories. And Philadelphia will certainly ask to have time put back on the clock here. But boy, the Red Wings will sure take the offside. The goal credited to Lindros from Desjardins in 1945. Red Wings trying to get the sweep. Three seconds left into the zone. The Detroit Red Wings on the Stanley Cup. year for the celebration for Detroit Tomas Holmstrom, Jamie McCown, Anders Eriksson, Kevin Hodson, the backup goaltender will be out there tonight. The countdown begins. Ten seconds away from successfully defending the Stanley Cup, the Detroit Red Wings. Their bench up. Osgood with his arms up over his head coming out. The Detroit Red Wings have won the Stanley Cup for the second year in a row. out in the future wearing norm cash is number 25 remember al told him he'd hit a home run today oh, oh yeah. it. There he goes and it is on the roof oh. robert fick a grand slam that hits the roof and comes back k-line called it oh how do you like that look at these flash bulbs what a moment he's still running <laughs> They're going to win the middle three games, something that no team has done at home since they went back to a 2 3 2 format in 85. There was actually a time in the mid 50s, believe it or not, when a home team won all three games in the middle. It was the Pistons. They were in Fort Wayne. But of all crazy things, they played those games in Indianapolis and beat the Syracuse Nationals. And the last team to win an Eastern champion, and you were from the East, without Phil Jackson being involved, with the Detroit Pistons in 1990. Rick Fox ending the game, hunched over his former teammate, Lindsey Hunter, and congratulating him. 
as the clock ticks down. And the Detroit Pistons, wow, who won the who won the <laughs> NBA championship in 89 and 90, and they, the crazies just have to stop blowing up stuff in indoor buildings yes. before we have a disaster. <laughs> Thank you, Commissioner. But the Detroit Pistons have just shocked the Los Angeles Lakers. 100 to 87 to win the NBA title. Winning run at second base. We're in the bottom of the ninth inning. Ordonez looks at ball one inside. Tim Lemire out there, Tommy, he was in for one pitch, breaking ball away somewhere. Ordonez 0 for 2 in his career against Houston Street. fly ball left field it's wow. deep it's way back the Tigers are going to the World Series three run walked off hold run oh man Ojoji has the round third he's into a box seat at home the Tigers have beat the A six to three completed a four game sweep to pitch. Got him. <laughs> Fresh batch of baseballs now for Ron Culpa, the home plate umpire. Mr. Tiger Al Kaline on his feet. Here again is the 0-2. High fly ball, right field, Ordonez backing up. He is there. No hitter for Justin Verlander. The first Tigers no hitter since 1984 when Jack Morris no hit the White Sox. With the second pick in the 2007 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions take wide receiver Calvin Johnson, Georgia Tech. Calvin Johnson, six foot five, with speed of four point three eight. Now I know those are numbers, but those are not usually in numbers that you put together with a receiver at six foot five. He'll be a pro bowler in Mike Martz's system in the next couple years. But I know Coach Marinelli loves defensive players and he wants to build around defense. But if they hold on to him, he'll make John Kidner or whatever quarterback they take in the second round a much better quarterback. Well, they certainly play. You know what? Maybe here's something to think about.
Now comes the tradition of the handoff. Who will get the Stanley Cup handed to them by the captain first? And there's a big shot. This looks like a roof ball. Way back, and it hits the roof. And it didn't quite go out. The 2-2. Swinging a fly ball to center. This one's deep. Going back is Gardner. Out of the winning track. At the fence. Looking up. <laughs> and that ball is gone. A home run. Miguel Capuera barely able to put weight on his left leg. It's a two-run shot to straightaway center with two outs in the ninth. And we're tied at three. First pitch swinging and he drills it. Deep right center field and way out of here. Center field. Deep. And gone. Another one for Cabrera. And Derek Hollandor had a look on his face like, what do I have to do to get this guy out? Got in on him a little bit and he still hits it. Out. Another home run for Miguel Cabrera. Hands it off. Zetterberg winds and fires. Score! Rashid from long range. Oh! Yes! 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 Oh! yes! Yes! She sticks it off glass as time runs out. You know, he practices those. 